November 12, 2006. From the Lord, our God and Savior, the word of the Lord spoken to Timothy, for Timothy, and for all those who have ears to hear. A Rock of Offense Thus says the Lord to his servant, Timothy, I have sent you out amongst my sheep as a young shepherd who lacks experience, as one who has little knowledge of my flock. Yet from your birth I set you apart for my purpose. Yea, before your formation in the womb, I appointed you a prophet to the nations. Thus you shall go for me and be to my people a light, a beacon shining amidst the darkness of the end of this age, a voice shouting in desolate places, calling them out. You shall be for me a witness, a rock of offense which I have placed at the feet of the rebellious and set against the churches of men, causing them to stumble. For I have put my words in your mouth, and by the power of my spirit have I caused you to write all these words. Each letter a spear with which I shall pierce the heart of this people, every volume a sword by which I shall divide them asunder, a rod and a staff for those who believe, I am the Lord. Timothy, I have made you a watchman for the people. Therefore you shall hear the word of my mouth and warn them from me. Yet their ears are dull, their countenance is set, and their hearts unyielding. For they are haughty and do always reject the word of God. Indeed, my words have become an object of scorn among them, and in my ways they find no delight. Therefore I shall increase in you sevenfold, and cause this word to become as a blaring trumpet in the ears of this people a thorn in the side of this nation which cannot be removed, and you shall be perceived as an enemy to all men. Behold, I have set you apart for my glory, an empty vessel of dishonor of which I have cleansed and filled unto great honor, a man who shall be hated and persecuted by those of this world, yet rejoiced over by angels. For even those who claim to be of my sheepfold shall come to hate you with a profound and bitter hatred, to the casting of many stones in word and by deed, for they have not known me. Thus I have called you out of the world, and shall also send you back into the world, even to the churches of men. For as it was written of my prophets of old, so in like manner have I appointed you. I have made your face strong against their faces, and your forehead strong against their foreheads, like adamant stone, harder than flint. I have made your forehead. For I have set you over nations and over kingdoms to root out and to pull down, to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. For I am the Lord, and I do not change.